Hi everyone, so uh, we're going to go through and show you how to figure out how to do an IEEE uh, layout so that looks good with the page numbers and everything, uh, formatting, hyperlinks, everything like that. So we're first going to get started here with a new Word document. I'm going to just open that up. Uh, so now that we're here uh, at our new Word document, the first thing I'm going to start by doing is changing to Times New Roman since that's pretty much the standard. Um, then we're also going to go over to the References tab up here. Uh, then we're going to make sure that our style is set to IEEE. Sometimes it's set to one of these other ones, but I like to set it to IEEE. Then we can go back to the home page, and then let's start with actually writing it out here. So I'm going to start by clicking the title. Uh, you're going to center that as well. Make sure that we do have that Times New Roman again, because when you click title, it changes that back to Calibrate. So then we're going to go, uh, you can put your project name here, um, or whatever you want to tell the research paper to be, um, and then we're going to just click enter. Make sure Times New Roman is selected again, um, and then we'll go and add our author now. So we're now going to click the insert tab up here, we're going to go over to quick parts, click on the quick parts, um, and then we're going to go down to document properties. Then over in document properties, it's the second one down as it should be, and it's going to say author. So we're going to click that. It already has my name in there, but of course you can put uh, your name or everybody's name in there. I'm just going to center it, and I don't really like how it's all caps, so I'm just going to go in there and change that uh, to there. Now we can move on to our intro. So we're going to left center uh, now and put in our intro. Uh, so now that we have the author complete here, I'm just going to tap down one here, or enter down, um, leaving the font at size 11, and uh, we're going to start with our intro. Uh, so I'm going to make it look like this, where it's uh, kind of the big one section up there, and then we break off into all our separate sections. Um, and the way to do that um, is really you're just going to start typing out up in here. You can say pretty much whatever. You can. Um, I would recommend, if you already have everything typed out on a separate document, uh, just to have everything uh, organized in there and then just kind of put it all into a separate Word document where you can format it. Because I think it's way easier to do it that way than formatting with everything already typed out in there. You kind of have a little more freedom, I would say. So you can type whatever you want. I'm just going to kind of fill it up here and whatnot. Now we want to have those two separate columns, and the way to get that, um, you would think, is by going over to layout and then just clicking uh, two columns, uh, but that makes everything two columns, so we're not going to do that, so I'm going to control Z and uh, undo that, and uh, we actually need to put a page break um, in the page, and now the way to do that, we're going to click breaks up here, up at the top left, right next to columns. Um, and then right where it says continuous, that's where it's going to actually put a break in the page itself. So we'll put a break at my cursor. So I'm going to put that break in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and click columns again and then go over to two. And just to show you that that works, just type some things and you see how it now tabs over uh, like so. Now if I just go ahead and enter all the way down, uh, then you can see that I can also type over here. So that's kind of how that works. And that will stay the, like that for the rest of the page. And if you ever want to go back, um, you can always just click another page, uh, page break, and then it puts the two columns now up in here. If you ever wanted to go back to the full format. But I'm going to leave it as our two columns for the whole rest of the um, research paper here. Uh, so now that we've set up the page layout of our um, research paper here, I'm going to go ahead and start to add in our titles. And the way we do this is by putting in headings. Uh, if you look at where my mouse is, right up at the top there, uh, we see heading one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click heading one. I'm gonna make sure that we're at Times New Roman. Change the color to black to match the rest of the colors. Um, and then we'll go to, and type it in as our introduction. Now I don't want it to tab over if I can, uh, go introduction because I kind of don't like it tabbed over I'm gonna make sure that's centered and now we have our introduction then we can go in and do the same thing center it heading one and then we'll do uh, make sure it's black and times new Roman 
And then we'll do section two, uh, which is going to be, um, let's just jump straight to conclusions. Um, of course, you can have as multiple, as many sections as you'd like, and you just keep adding the numbers up and whatnot. So now that we have that centered in there, uh, now we're gonna go and set up our bibliography at the end. So after we've gotten our two titles, or however many titles that you've had there, uh, we're gonna jump over to our references tab now. Um, and then we're gonna go over to where it's uh, citations and bibliographies. Um, we're gonna go and click down that right below where we switched to triple I triple E. We're gonna go and click bibliography um, and then click references. Uh, it's going to say that there's no resources, of course, because we haven't added any yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change all of this text here uh, to Times New Roman. We're going to make it black. Uh, so now it's nice and concise there and matches the rest. So since it's going to say that there's no sources, uh, let's go ahead and just add a source and show you how that looks here and how to add sources. Um, and then we'll go in later and cite sources uh, and also figures and tables. Um, so to add a source, back under that reference tab up here, see where it says manage sources in the same category where we got our bibliography from, and I click on manage sources. Now that's going to bring up this source manager right here. Um, and I already have a couple lists in here, but I can get rid of those uh, for another project. Um, and then I can just go ahead add a new one and then we can uh, tell what type of source it is um, if you want to ever use like EasyBib for example um, you can use EasyBib and get like the rest of your information from there or if you can fill it out yourself go ahead and do that I'm just gonna go and say uh, use me for an example here uh, we're gonna say uh, test website um, We'll just say today's date, which is uh, 2021, uh, the month. You're going to want to put the actual month out. So today it's uh, April, um, and then today is the 29th. Um, and then, of course, you can put like your URL, www.testwebsite.com, just for the heck of it. And if you ever wanted to add more, you can always click Show All Bibliography Fields, um, and then it goes and shows you everything. Um, now I'm going to keep that as a website since that's what I'm going for here. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now it's going to put it under your master list and your current list. Um, if it's only on the master list, you can always copy it over to the current list and uh, you can always add new ones and delete them and edit them because um, you can always go back in and change that there. I'm going to close back out of this. Um, and now it still says that there's actually no sources, which is false, but what we have to do is click this update citations in bibliography. So once we do that, then we see our citation in here. Did not mean to do that, but now we see our citation. So as, um, now I'll get into how to reference the references in your actual research paper. Okay, so now that we have our titles, references, the layout of the page, um, everything's looking actually much better than it was before, and the format's actually coming pretty pretty nicely. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and type something here real fast, and let's say uh, I quoted this from my test website. Uh, now we can go ahead and easily just add a citation from our references. Now, still in that references tab up here, we're going to go ahead and say insert citation. Now, all of your citations that you've added should be in there. All you have to do is find the right name and the right uh, source. Uh, and you can also add new sources in here or place orders. Uh, but since I see my source right here that we've already added, I'm going to go ahead and click that one. Now, that already puts it hyperlinked and the right numbering. Uh, and this will number accordingly as well, alphabetically and or however, actually it's going to order it in, in what's referenced first. And you can also change that around and whatnot. And just to show that it's hyperlinked, if you can see here, um, you can also edit the citation, you can update it, um, edit the source. So if you wanted to change that around, you can do that as well. Um, but that is hyperlinked uh, and ready to go if you ever want to put it into a PDF format um, or other formats as well. Uh, so next, let's talk about like figures, uh, images, uh, 
also tables as well and how to reference those within your research paper where it hyperlinks to the actual figure that you uh, related to. So I'm going to just uh, enter down a couple just so I have some space. I'm going to start by uh, inserting my image. So I just have a, a little fun image right here, just a random image that says random. Um, so you could put uh, whatever if you have snippets of things, um, for example, like on uh, my full one right here, I have a project timeline, uh, some mathematical equations, some figures, um, stuff like that, uh, which we can all use. Got that image in there. We're going to go ahead and uh, just give it some space. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say insert caption right here. Now you can also uh, just click on it, go over to references and also click on insert caption under captions. Um, so now we're going to click insert caption. It's going to immediately bring up figure one. Now in here you can also put, uh, if you want to hit control I so it's not italicized, then you can also put your uh, caption to the image. Uh, sometimes you want to have that just to give it a little brief uh, uh, description of what the image is showing uh, even though you will be referencing it in your article um, and then of course this is where we'll get into tables uh, or equations as well I don't I'm not going to do an equation for this one because it's basically the same thing as a table or a figure so now that I have the figure in there and I got the caption named and everything uh, I'm going to select below because uh, that's how I like looking at it um, and most people like it below it kind of just flows better with the flow of the paper you can exclude the caption uh, or vice versa if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave that as is and then we can make sure that our numbering is going to go one, two, three, or if you wanted it as I, double I, A, B, C, all caps, you can also change that as well depending on how you want to have it. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That adds it right down there to the bottom. Now I am going to change the text uh, just to be sure that it is Times New Roman and I'm going to center it just to make it look a little nicer. So now that we have the caption and the figure number set up for that, we're going to go ahead and let me just type something out here real fast. And let's say this was referencing uh, our figure one right here. So after you go ahead and reference the figure, you can be like, um, let's say for example, uh, in and then figure one. Um, but we want to be sure that we're hyperlinking this figure one to where we say figure one. Um, and the way to do that is under insert, we're going to go ahead and then insert a cross reference. So we're going to click cross reference, make sure that our figure is uh, highlighted. Now I'm going to have it as only label and number, which means that it's only going to take um, this figure one and not the dash caption to the image. So I'm going to say only label and number. If you wanted the entire caption, you can do that as well, um, or just the page number or only the caption text. You can totally do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click insert. If you have more than one figure, which you probably will, you can go ahead and select what figures you want to reference from here. There'll be a list. So I'm going to go ahead and click insert. Automatically inserts it right there. I can now click close out of this. Um, and that is now hyperlinked. As you can see, it brings the cursor up to figure one. So that is hyperlinked and ready to go. And now I can keep typing. And it's all nice and concise and formatted correctly. Next, so now that we've done figures, uh, references, titles, all of that, uh, the last step would probably be like a table. So let's say you had a table in here that you wanted to add. Um, I'm just going to go ahead, still under the insert tab, um, I'm going to insert a table. Let's just do by uh, two by two, just for the heck of it. Now I can go ahead, uh, it's kind of the same setup that we did for uh, our figure one up here. I'm going to highlight the whole graph. We're going to go back over to our references tab and we're going to insert caption. This time I'm going to do it the other way though, just so you have uh, both in mind because you can also right click and then insert caption. It brings you to the same menu. Now it immediately brought up figure two, but this is a table. So I'm going to change it over to table and now it says table one rather than figure one. Uh, I still want it below the selected item and I'm just going to say that this is a test caption just to have uh, something there and then I still want to below select the item uh, the numbering still is good with me and then I'm going to click OK now we have our table 1 I'm going to make sure it's centered and change that font again back over to Times New Roman so it's looking pretty good 
now the same setup, so now we can say in table one this time. So I'm going to do uh, the same process where um, I'm going to go over to the insert tab up at the top, do cross reference, and then only label a number. But now I have to change the figure over to table. There we go, table. So now it says table one, test caption. Got to make sure that I only want the only label and number, at least for my opinion. Uh, that's how I like it. And then make sure that hyperlink is selected. I didn't say last time, but you need to make sure that insert as hyperlink is selected. I'm going to insert. Now it says table one. Perfect. You can keep typing behind it. Um, and that is all set to go. Uh, so one thing that I did forget to mention in the introduction, however, um, is hyperlinking to our actual uh, titles. So I'm going to go ahead and say in, let's say, uh, section one, or let's do section two. Um, in section two, that would be our conclusions. Uh, I'm going to change the text real fast. So in section two, I'm going to go ahead and select section two, and then I'm going to create a link. And now I'm going to say place in this document. And then you should see under headings, now we have the top of the document, headings, bookmarks, references, blah, blah, blah. But I'm more worried about the headings right there in the middle. Um, you can add or you know add it up um, if it is closed. And I want this to hyperlink to conclusions, uh, which is the second section. I'm going to click OK. Now it hyperlinks it. I don't really want to see that hyperlink though, so I'm going to change the text back to black um, and get rid of that underline. And now it looks uh, just like the rest of the text, but it is hyperlinked under there. So I think the only thing that we're missing right now is just our page numbers. Um, and that is not hard to do. That's just going to be under our footers here. Uh, I just double click at the very bottom of the page. We're going to go to page numbers at the bottom of the page. I'm going to go plain number in the center. Um, I'm going to change this over to Times New Roman and it should do all the pages. I'm just going to check just to be sure. I'm going to enter down a little bit. Make sure that page two comes up. Page three. Perfect. So that is all set up and ready to go and that should be your IEEE format uh, set up and ready to go. Um, if you have any questions just put them down in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them. Um, but yeah, so there is your setup and hopefully you can get to a product like mine. Everything hyperlinked together, looking nice and pretty, um, and good luck.